Alright, uh, time to do another vlog. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one. Uh, and uh, someone on Twitter asked me to do it, and uh, so I decided to, you know what, let's make a little vlog for, for you guys. Um, uh, since the last time I made a vlog, uh, there are quite a few of uh, hot toys that are uh, um, uh, out there now, well, for pre-ordering at least. Nick Fury is out. Uh, that one looks amazing. Uh, the sculpting on uh, on uh, what's his name um, Samuel L. Jackson it's really really good. Uh, the next one that came out was uh, Hawkeye. Uh, I didn't think the head sculpt was that good, but uh, if you look at him with the glasses on, uh, he looks dead on. Next one that came out was uh, Captain America. Uh, that one was kind of expensive because uh, it does come with a second head sculpt. Uh, one without the mask on. Uh, the one without the mask seems a little weird. Uh, it's because he has some, uh, well I guess uh, a lot of people were complaining back then that um, these figures don't have any uh, facial expressions. Uh, they're just staring and uh, that was it. But uh, now they're giving him a little more of a uh, angry look. So I guess it's doable. Um, it's definitely different. Uh, and it does look pretty good and it comes with a second shield uh, one clean and one uh, somewhat of a battle damage uh, that thing is kind of expensive though so uh, it was I think uh, manufacturer retail is about 214 or something like that um, seems a bit steep for a Hot Toys figure with two heads because uh, before um, even DX doesn't even cost over 200 uh, uh, doesn't cost over 200 bucks but now uh, even these regular figures are up there over two now so that's uh, not not I'm not liking it that much and the next one that came out was uh, Thor <clears throat> uh, this one it's he's definitely bigger uh, the arms are bigger and uh, he's got longer hair this time around and uh, face is it's it's Better than the original one, but still not dead on. Uh, if you compare the likeness to uh, Chris Helmsworth, it's mm, not as good, but it is better than the first Thor. So, uh, but then the next one that came out was uh, Loki. Now that one, this was, uh, that one looks amazing. Uh, dead on to the character, uh, dead on to how he looked in the ga uh, in the in the movie, and um, yeah, I'm really liking the. Uh, the Loki a lot and uh, he did a uh, and uh, uh, Tom Hiddleston uh, he did a great job in the movie so uh, I'm definitely picking up that one I already have well I already have uh, which one pre-ordered uh, Nick Fury Hawkeye and Captain America I'm not getting Thor because uh, I already have the original one so there's no reason for me to get another Thor all right let's talk about play arts play arts Kai uh, what they're releasing stuff like that um, uh, we seen photos. Uh, well, I guess last last uh, San Diego Comic Con they released uh, black and white versions of the of the uh, Mass Effect figures. Uh, they're not painted yet, uh, but uh, from even the photos back then, um, Shepard looks weird. His uh, head sculpt looks really really weird. It doesn't even look like him. And then uh, now we we have seen the color version of that uh, of those figures, and uh, still ooh. Uh, I'm definitely not getting any of the uh, Play Arts Kai uh, Mass Effect figures. Um, I might get uh, it, uh, Garrus. I might get Garrus, but other than that, uh, all the other characters I don't care for. Uh, they look weird. Um, their head sculpt is really weird. I mean, um, body proportion is fine. Uh, I don't mind if the thighs are a little bit wide. I don't care about that. That's not that big of an issue. But if the head sculpt is off, I, I'm so put off by that. So definitely not getting any of those. Uh, um, the only the only ones that are really, really good are well, mainly the Metal Gear Solid ones. I guess uh, maybe Kojima is uh, overseeing some of those uh, products. Maybe that's why the sculpts are better. But other than that, um, I don't know, Player of Kai stuff, uh, if they're trying to make human, they don't really look that good. Uh, if they have a mask on or anything like that, then they look better. But like the Joker, he doesn't look like the Joker in the game at all. And uh, sorry to say, yeah, I didn't get that one and I don't plan on getting the Harley Quinn either. 
um, cause uh, they all look weird. Uh, the Batman's okay, cause uh, it's got a cowl on and uh, covers up a lot of his uh, his uh, uh, his face. So uh, that's that's doable. And then the uh, uh, snake, uh, the Metal Gear Solid One snake, it it's good. I like the sculpt. I mean, it doesn't look perfectly, but it's not as bad as um, Shepard in comparison to the game. Uh, Snake looks good and um, Cyborg Ninja looks really good but only because he's wearing a full face uh, full face helmet on so you can't really see what he looks like under all right uh, let's talk about uh, Hasbro um, I'm looking forward to getting the six inch uh, Avengers figures um, I have seen reviews of it up on uh, YouTube already uh, but uh, I heard they're uh, exclusive to Walmart and uh, that would suck if that's the case because uh, I don't have a Walmart near me at all. It takes me over an hour just to drive to a Walmart so uh, I won't be able to go often at all but I do really want to get those figures. Um, the 6 inch ones uh, they look really good by Hasbro. Um, uh, the Hawkeye looks nice. It looks just like him. And then uh, all the other figures are really good. Uh, the Hulk is that's a good scale. Um, yeah, even though uh, I have seen I have seen the the Marvel Select uh, Hulk um, in person, and uh, it looks really really good. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, but I don't plan on getting that at all because of the scale. Because uh, uh, I don't plan on getting the rest of the Marvel Select uh, line because uh, I don't like that scale. It's a bit like seven, eight inches tall, and uh, the articulation on those are horrible. Uh, but uh, I know they they added more articulation for the Hulk, so that one I am still debating. But most likely, I'm not getting it. And then uh, Hawkeye looks like he's got a uh, pretty good articulation too. But uh, again. If I'm if I'm gonna get most likely I'm just gonna get the Hasbro six inch ones and uh, that should be sufficient enough. And um, speaking of Avengers, wow, looks like this uh, whole uh, uh, vlogs about Avengers. Uh, I finally saw the movie uh, last week, last weekend, and uh, it was really really good um, from start to the end. Uh, had a blast watching it. Uh, it does get a little talky. In the middle but uh, I'm fine with it because I'm seeing it for the first time and uh, if I go if I go second or third times then maybe I would I would be a, a bit annoyed by it but uh, I'm fine with it uh, I like the uh, the opening was really good uh, with the Nick Fury uh, when I after I first uh, after I watched the, the opening I was like I'm so glad I pre-ordered Nick Fury because uh, he looked really good um, in the beginning and uh but then whenever he yells it sounds like um it sounds like he's playing that character from uh, Pulp Fiction I don't know uh, I don't see Nick Fury when whenever he starts yelling a little bit yeah he he just sounds like um that guy from uh, I don't know the name but uh, the guy from uh, Pulp Fiction that uh, the the character he played but uh, yeah uh, and that movie's great um yeah, don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not gonna go into detail about the movie. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a really good movie. It's definitely up there with uh, Iron Man and uh, Dark Knight stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, saw quite a few trailer trailers uh, in there too. S saw the uh, Dark Knight Rises. Uh, that one's really good because uh, I'm glad. I'm really glad that they fix uh, uh, Bane's voice. So now uh, in uh, you could really hear what he's saying instead of uh, all the muffling that he did uh, when they showed that uh, four minute uh, sneak peek back then when uh, whichever movie came out I forgot which movie it was now was it Harry Potter or something uh, but uh, yeah they fixed it so it's really good now and uh, I heard rumors about what's gonna happen stuff like that uh, but I'm not gonna say anything here uh, and then I saw uh, the, the Amazing Spider-Man trailer uh, that one's really good too uh, a lot of action uh, but eh, I don't know it might get a bit slow because uh, it's still an origin story 
And uh, but it's not really about um, his um, Aunt May or um, um, Uncle 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 whatever whatever Uncle whatever his name is. Uncle Ben? Is that Uncle Ben? I don't know. Uh, I think so. But that's Rice. I don't know if that's the guy. Uncle Ben. Uncle. Whatever. But uh, this time is going to be about his dad or something. So uh, it, it could get interesting. But uh, I don't know. It might seem a bit slow to... I don't know. But that's that. And uh, Alright. Yeah, that's that. Alright, next thing I want to talk about is uh, Halo. Um, uh, 3A, uh, I'm not sure, well some of you guys are aware of this company called 3A and uh, they make 1-6 uh, uh, figures, uh, they're more designer type figures uh, but now they're going into more of a um, uh, another line, more movie accurate kind of figures, uh, they're doing uh, real steel figures, uh, those are really really impressive, uh, all the uh, you can see all the bits and pieces and all the uh, pistons and stuff like that in those figures but uh, they are really really expensive they're over 300 each they're one six scale but I yeah I, I I mean I like the movie but I don't care enough to buy one of those figures so um, that's an easy pass for me but uh, one thing that they're making uh, planning to make it's uh, Halo Reach figures um, they have a couple of photos uh, showing Carter uh, most likely it's it's yeah it's a 1-6 Gale figure and um, and you see parts that lights up as well too so that's gonna be interesting I wonder how much that thing is gonna be because uh, they're designer figures if they're human type of figures they range from a hundred to two hundred somewhere around there and then uh, with the with the uh, real steel stuff, they're over three hundred, so it's kind of hard to say how much the Halo Reach figure is gonna be. I'm hoping it's gonna be uh, under two, preferably one fifty or so, but it does have light up features, so I'm not sure. Uh, but they look really really good um, the paint job on it is really really good uh, it, yeah the color it's a little too too light that blue that blue on him it's a little too light uh, that blue it's more for cat instead of Carter uh, but overall I am liking that figure a lot so um, I guess we'll do a wait and see to to know how much that thing's gonna cost because if they do make Carter I'm sure they're gonna make the whole Noble team and uh, that's gonna be very very pricey if I'm getting all of them but uh, I have to see the price if it's over two most likely I'm not getting it not enough for me to buy a Halo figure since I already got the Play Arts Kai ones uh, and I'm happy with those uh, but we'll see and uh, um uh, NECA Predators figure, uh, this new wave, um, I don't even, I don't even know which wave this is now, but they're out, uh, <coughs> I picked them up from Toys R Us, so most likely it's gonna trickle down, and, uh, cause I'm on the west coast, so most likely people will start seeing the Predators figure soon, and, um, uh, Halo Anniversary 2, I, I just started seeing those, uh, hitting Target. Uh, they're about eleven ninety nine each, so again I'm on the west coast, so it's gonna trickle down, and uh, most likely you guys will see it soon as well. All right, lastly, just wanna um, let you guys know some of the videos I have uh, up on the, my channel now. Uh, a couple of recent uh, videos I've created. Um, let's say uh, the most recent one would be at the neck uh, guardian and uh, snake review uh, and then uh, we have the Hot Toys uh, DX08 the Joker from the 89 Batman movie uh, the the Jack Nicholson one that one's really good I, it's, I, I have to say that one's by far the best sculpt uh, coming out of Hot Toys to date and then uh, next was uh, NECA Stalker Predator and then the uh, next one would be McFarlane uh, Queen Alien and then McFarlane uh, ODST Deer figure. Um, the reason I'm reviewing that one now, 
well, recently is because I started playing ODST. Uh, I've never played it before, and I'm um, just getting into it. Uh, I think I'm at least halfway through the game, and uh, I like it. Uh, a lot of people don't like it because it's a bit slow, slow paced, uh, but uh, I like it. Um, I, yeah, I, I found the story pretty interesting, and uh, so yeah, I am playing it, and uh, I'm liking it so far, and I'm glad I didn't sell off some of those figures, because uh, I, I want to build that uh, ODST team. And the only one I'm missing now is uh, uh, Romeo. I think that's the only one I'm missing. And then uh, I should have the whole team. And then the uh, next thing I review uh, was uh, DC Direct Riddler. And then uh, Play Arts Kai Cyborg Ninja. So yeah, that's uh, my vlog. Uh, and uh, if you guys have questions, uh, you're welcome to post it in the comment section. Uh, I, I'm not gonna answer them in uh, in vlogs anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna answer them uh, in the in the comment section. And uh, if you guys have questions, or if you guys have uh, suggestions or anything like that, yeah, you're welcome to put it in the comment section, and uh, I'll uh, put them into consideration. And uh, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching.